Any advice for someone who wants to start a podcast, a YouTube serial series? Hmm, serial. You want some true advice? You want the real advice? Huh? Be prepared to do a hundred episodes and all them video views and listens to be under a hundred. Can you do that? Can you stick with it for a hundred episodes weekly or however your your cadence? The biggest thing is I, I read a stat 70%. I just made that part up, but a lot of podcasts don't make it past seven episodes. Are you willing to do a hundred? that are great, but nobody sees them? Are you willing to wait to build your audience? Or are you going to see big podcasts and their numbers and be like, ah, I can't do it because I ain't getting those numbers. Can you do 100 straight, no matter what? If you can do that, start your podcast. Also, a lot of times I think people do this. You seen the movie Collateral. Jamie Foxx, he had the postcard. I'm going to get my business together. But first, I got to get the limos and I got to get the licenses and I got to get the insurance requirements. And when I get all that, and then one day I'm going to start. You know what you're doing? You're planning yourself out of ever starting. You want to hear the truth? We're talking real now. You're planning yourself out of ever start. You think somehow the camera equipment and the microphones and the studio space will validate you enough. But the truth is you're scared. Because I done told you a million times, you can shoot a dog on whole podcast on an iPhone or Android. But the truth is, you tell yourself, oh, I got to get that stuff. Because you're scared to do it the easy way. Because then, if it don't work, you know what you can say? Well, if I had the better equipment, it might work. And guess what? It still might not work. You want to be honest? You want the truth? Most of y'all is scared to do it on the low budget. Because then, if it don't work, you ain't going to have no other excuse. That's the truth, guys. I know it when I recognize it. People asking me so they can say, I ain't got the money for that. But if I did, I show sure and I would have it. And what? I got to get me a red and a Sony can. I got to get me $1,200. And I'm sure safe for that. You know, and now you don't need all that stuff. I was doing everything with the iPhone. And you can get an iPhone. Don't lie to me. I know you can. You can get a little cell phone camera. Cam, hand me this uh, thing right here. You can get this. This is 10 bucks. Best Buy, Amazon. This is 10 bucks. Most of Kev on Stage Studios, most of Kev on Stage since 2014. I had a DSLR, but I realized I was putting my iPhone on top of the camera because it was just easier to edit this way. Most of my entire business was made just like this. Less than 50 bucks with my phone. I already have Android, Apple. I just upgraded my production value this last year all the way. That's the truth. Roof. Everything is in there. This is all you really need, but people think they need all of that. It's not true, guys. It's never been more untrue than right now. It's all right here, guys. And I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I know it. I recognize the excuses. You know, I recognize the excuses. I do them in weight loss. If I ain't have kids, if I could do this, I go to the gym. The truth of the matter is I don't want to work out and I want to eat whatever I want. And that's why I look this way. That's the truth. I can lie. I can say whatever. I have the means. I have the time. I just don't want to. I feel better when I buy a workout program. I feel bad when I don't use it. I feel good when I eat Chick-fil-A. I feel bad when I eat kale. That's the bottom line. I recognize the excuses because when it comes to doggone eating right and working out, I am you. Bottom line is I don't have the discipline in that area. That's the truth. And the bottom line is most people don't have the discipline in this area. They see them views and they suck and they be like, never mind. Now look at my equipment. This is pristine. Top of the line. I am in my eighth year in LA, my 10th or ninth year in YouTube, and I just got top of the top of the line gear. I mean, just now with everything I do, just got these cameras. If you've been following, you know we was on iPhones forever. It really wasn't until I met Brendan, Tony, and Cam and Transit Team Amir that I had like, okay, top. You see the dog on music videos that I'm doing now? That's transit in them. Y'all know me. I ain't have that ability. I can't I don't even know how Tony did that stuff. <laughs> when I see the stuff, I'll be like, dang, I can't do that stuff. But people take that part of me 
and they apply it to their year one. You want to see year one? Go watch them dog on Playmakers videos, uh, stuff black parents do, where me and Jay and Ant was in there with that grainy camera, putting it on a tripod from Best Buy, and, and, and taking that card out and editing it. Them first videos on Cam on Stage where I was using the laptop facing Cam, bruh, people always want to get the top-of-the-line gear as if that's going to make you. You could have the most top of the line, red camera, black magic, sure SM7s, and if nobody's watching, it don't matter. 